Are you someone who is confused about coding or doesn't exactly understand what it is? Today, we are going to be talking about the building blocks of programming, exactly what it is and why we need to use it. Computers have their own language, which is called machine code. And as you can see here, it wouldn't make a lot of sense to humans right away. Each number or letter is telling the computer to change something in its memory, whether it be a video, an image, some text, some numbers. By themselves, computers don't really know how to do anything. And that's where we come in as programmers to tell the computers exactly what it is we want them to do. And luckily there is an easier way for us to talk to computers and give them instructions other than learning machine code, which would take a very long time for humans to do. And that is with programming languages. All programming languages really consist or have the same foundations. There are hundreds of different programming languages, which can be very confusing and overwhelming at first, but essentially when you break it down, they do the same thing. You type in what you want it to do. The compiler turns it into the language the computer understands and then the computer does what it's told, which is called executing the code in programming speak. Okay, so now you're probably wondering, well, what exactly is coding? Coding is the process of getting a computer to behave exactly how you want it to. Every line of code tells the computer to do something, and a document full of lines of code is called a script. This might be change an image's size or change the color on the font when hovered over, anything like that. That is actions that are done by a script. When you're on, for example, social media or Twitter and you heart someone's post or like someone's post, that is a script running in the background. Computers will do exactly what you tell them to do, which sounds great at first, but can also cause a lot of problems. For example, I remember when I started programming, I would sometimes accidentally write infinite loops and it would just keep on counting upwards and upwards. And that's because I told it to do so, but I didn't tell it to stop or when to stop. And that's where the human side of programming comes in. Being a good programmer is really being able to properly tell computers how to act. A really popular question I get asked is, well, is coding hard? Now that we know what coding and programming is, is, is it tough to do? And the answer to that is yes and no. At first, when you are learning something new, whether it be coding or really anything, yes, of course it's difficult at first. I always give the example of if you're learning a new language, say French or Spanish, and it's something that you've never even thought of doing before or have had no experience with before. Of course, when you are first starting out, it's going to be more difficult to really learn the basics and the foundations of that language. But as you continue to stick with it and pursue it and, and get more practice in, it'll become easier and easier. And that's exactly how it is with code. Code really is another language and at first it will be difficult to pick up, but if you stick with it and continue learning and growing through it, you will see yourself progressing and continuing to get better. Okay, let's sum up a bit of the topics we covered today. Computers have their own language called machine code, which tells them what to do. And luckily there's an easier way than learning machine code to talk to computers with programming languages. Coding is the process of using a programming language to get a computer to behave exactly how you want it to. Every line of code tells a computer to do something and that document full of lines is called a script. Okay, thank you for watching my video on exactly what is coding and how does it work. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions and I will ensure to either answer them in the comments or make another video on it. But don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all soon.